to another review video by Alex Rides Motos. Again, um, this will be my second review ever, so I'm still a little nervous. I think I got some positive feedback on my first review video. Um, that um, it was great, but a little long, so I'm trying to cut this short. Uh, today, we're going to do a six month review of the Roland Sands Ronin perforated leather jacket right behind me. So I bought this um, back in December, pretty much when I first got my bike, helmet, all my gear. And one of the things I was looking for at the time was something classic looking to go with my cafe racer look. Um, it also has to offer some kind of protection in case I fall. Uh, being a new rider, um, that was one of my main concerns. Uh, falling, uh, getting road rash, and also maybe a, a jacket with some armor protection in it to help me um, in case that ever happens. Also, one of the main reasons why I bought this jacket was I wanted, I wanted a jacket that that offers me the protection that I needed that I was looking for on a motorcycle. But at the same time, if I was say going out to town, riding my bike you know, into town um, for a night out, I want to be able to step off the bike and still look good in that jacket. And most motorcycle jackets I've noticed. Um, before even before I got started riding, it looks super bulky. The shoulders are bulky. You know that that is a motorcycle jacket. And I wanted something a little slimmer. Something that doesn't uh, look like it's out of place when you go out to eat, when you go to a restaurant, when you go to a bar. And I think I found it with this guy. To set some baseline, I'm 5'8", 5 5'9", 5 on a good day, about 170 pounds. And I got a medium sized jacket. The first impression of this jacket when I first got it, I was ecstatic. You can tell by just, just holding it, by the weight of the jacket, that this is a really quality jacket. It's, the leather is supple, but thick. It's not gonna be as good as a, let's say a full racing leather, obviously, or any of the maybe textile ones, which is fully armored. But for the style that you're looking for, it's hard to beat this jacket for protection and for quality. And Roland Sands is, is known for their quality. And one other thing I like about this jacket is the pockets. There are so many pockets in here. You have your right breast side pocket for your phone. You have these elastic pockets for anything big. You also have this zip up pocket here for your wallet or anything else that you want to put inside jacket that you're not, you know, they don't want to lose. Um, side pockets here. But one of my favorite pockets is this stash pocket right here. I put my credit card in here, I put my garage door in here. This is like the e most easiest accessible place to get things. And I love this, love this. I haven't seen this in any other jacket um, or that I've seen so far. The interior of this jacket is satin. And they do also not just have pockets, but also have little like, um, uh, I guess pouches uh, for armor. So there is a back armor you can put in, a sh shoulder armor, as well as elbow armor that you can put in. I put in, I personally put in some D3O's armor on, on the back and the elbow and shoulders um, and I feel like it's slim enough where, where it doesn't look too bulky and it still looked like a pretty like normal looking jacket. The major con for me when purchasing this jacket was the cost. Um, I think retail price it was around $650 around there. I was lucky enough to be able to get a, a pretty good discount from someone I know. Um, and so I, I put the trigger on it. But for $650, that is a huge price tag for, <coughs> for anyone. Um, and it doesn't include the armor pieces. So if you're gonna factor in the armor pieces, let's say that's an extra $7,500, you're looking at close to $800, right? $750, that's a lot. You would think a, a jacket for $650, you will get all of them, but you don't. So keep that in mind when you when you purchase this jacket. In terms of how it fits, why don't we just time warp to the video shoot that I did for this jacket so you guys can see how it fits on someone my size. And I'll see you guys back right after.
Hey guys, welcome back. That was my very first photo shoot and I had a great time. But to continue this review, to sum everything up, would I buy this jacket again after six months of use? I would say yes. I love the style, I love the quality that Roland Sands give you. Um, I love the attention to details that Roland Sand has and the protection that this jacket offers. So yes, I would buy it again. It is a bit pricey, but this will last a very long time. I'll never go out of style. Guys, I'm gonna wrap up this review. If you're interested in this jacket, I'll link it down below in the description. Um, I can say this, if you're looking for a similar style jacket with protection, uh, with great quality and, and attention to detail, you're not gonna go wrong with this jacket. So with that, I'm gonna close it out. Again, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I wanna thank my subscribers. Uh, your support and um, I will see you guys in the next review video okay peace